Hi Glitter, thank you so much for joining us on this little show and tell about our show quilt. I am Aline Bugarin. And I am Natasha Bugarin. We are here at Orbit Quilting Studio. This is the English name, which yes. sounds very strange to our Portuguese Brazilian <laughs> ears. <laughs> so, today we're talking about this quilt here that we called I need the, the actual note of this name in English submerged because I never used this word before <laughs> yes <laughs> this work this is the only show quilt we made that has originally a, uh, a Portuguese name yes because this quilt uh, participates only in a national Brazilian quilt show, so it has a Brazilian name because, well, we're at, we're in Brazil, so it's it is the only one. So we translated it for you, so you know what we're talking about, and it is a recreation from a painting of Anita Malfatti, which is a very huge was a very huge amazing painter and, in, in, and she's famous i yeah. i i think that worldwide uh, uh, yes yeah, I, maybe, I guess. maybe there is someone who, <laughs> who know her because yes. she, she was really she was important yeah, yeah here and on arts in general and the um, actual picture that we translate into quilting language that we recreate or reinterpret in this, you know, other Good media. Form. Yeah, <laughs> in this other media is actually this painting here. Here. This is called The Wave yes. in Portuguese. And it's actually a, a, a little... <clears throat> A little painting like here like that is, is very very small and we kind of amplify that yeah and also you know you probably noticed that our rocks are also blue uh, just like the wave itself for sure because we think well we will recreate it but let's you know play a little bit with it so we, we imagine how about we submerge the the wave from Anita? So what would be like, you know? So if it is that's why under it's under the water. Yes, 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 it's under the water. Yes, and we thought we liked a lot of this quilt, but as this was our first quilt on this technique, and actually it's the only quilt that we've quilted entirely in yes. this technique, and it's so big. Um, we learned a lot from yes. it, which means that it, <laughs> which means it is not as perfect. As, it doesn't as have a great hanging because, no. well, it's all thread painting, and it, since it was the first one we made, and it was uh, finished in September 2016. Yeah. So we were quilting also for a very little time, and includes less than two years yes. probably when we started this yeah so we were very newbies and not like rookies like yeah. totally, totally totally rookies totally. And, so, and it was such an amazing result that we could you know translate the yeah. actual well, painting we were or ready to finish it yeah. was already incredible and yes. won 50 50 the fifth place. The fifth place. The fifth. Th 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 this. <laughs> the <thing>. fifth <laughs> place. <laughs> it's very <laughs> strange word in English for Portu Portuguese speakers. <laughs> that word, fifty. <laughs> fifth. <laughs> fifth. <laughs> okay. Is that. Is that. So that's that, how close we were. The the <laughs> the place. After the fourth, <laughs> that is much easier to pronounce. After the fourth is the fifth. <laughs> I read okay, speak okay, the okay. first and the second is much more. Easy. Okay, anyway, yes. <laughs> so uh, this uh, quilt show here, it was more like a challenge. So there was no categories and so on. So everyone has a thing which were recreate. Um, 
and art and piece and of art of Brazilian painters. That's it. So it was like a challenge. So there was no categories and so on. So it was the the fifth place overall? Yes, overall, overall yeah. the quilts because it's kind of a challenge, <laughs> you know, dynamic. Yeah. But. We were so happy to place because yes. we didn't thought we could place at this with at, this piece because yeah. um it really lo looks like the 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 original art but you know it has its problems sure <laughs> we used to create that the wave made a wave <laughs> so <laughs> here in the center we have a lot of trouble yeah. anyway and um, we learned a lot from yeah, we learned a lot. a lot from it so um after this experience we've tried to make other pieces with another kind of materials and even techniques and mm -hmm. now we look at this and think wow we actually know how to do this exact same thing without this mess and <laughs> we are yeah. so happy that we are able to do that yeah. now because this technique is something that we love to do and one question we get a lot of this work particularly even if it's not a work that travels and that we we you know was on a, an international exhibition like yeah. <clears throat> the other ones but maybe uh, there's a lot of people that sometimes are on uh, our instagram or our facebook page or even our website and people always asked is this only thread is this a kind of applique or maybe or maybe painted. a painting yeah. um, uh, <coughs> before the thread to help itself a, a yeah to create the sh color shading and and so on but no it's only trilobal thread the simplest one <coughs> and something we didn't mention before it measures about 29 inches per 35 inches so, so it's kind of a big a big quilt well for us be your first <laughs> thread painting please don't do it That's because it is way too big to be your first your Try first i will i will yes. show you your first what should be what you should know? be the it's, size of your first thread yes Ooh, if you are doing the wave is waving here <laughs> <laughs> so oh yeah Okay, okay. Okay. I mean, right. okay. <laughs> so, this is a thread painting yeah. um, workshop we did and was so much fun because the students were actually getting better results than us or yes. at least the same results and it was fantastic. And after we did it, we hooked it on this... I don't, I don't know, know. <laughs> that hook I think it's hook but whatever if you are watching this video and you know the name of this please you are Let very welcome to comment <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so we can know it and um, we put it here and we display this here on our studio and just like this embroidery circle <laughs> embroidery Wood I know the thing. name is I just I just can remember it I know because that's the the same name that quilters use to quilt on the frame yeah. frame frame yes that's that's why we we have to you know think fish <laughs> yeah <laughs> on this embroidery frame so it is let amazing. me show you the difference, the difference. so <laughs> it is quite a giant <laughs> difference so please if you're doing thread painting for the first try time try something this size it is how many it's less than 10 inches for sure it's kind yes. of eight inches yes yeah. circle so it is very nice and you can do a very beautiful you can do uh, several of this please Yes. several of these of like put different your, flowers whoa. and you can put on your oh, wall yeah. or maybe your door or maybe beside your bed or maybe you can sleep with it <laughs> <laughs> i'm just kidding so um we have some really close-ups that you can see yeah 
And I want you to notice that the thread here goes all directions and all or all over this <clears throat> kind of rock and we used several layers of quilting yeah. it was much 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 fun to do of course we had problems as we mentioned mm -hmm. but we still so proud of this work because you know it was our first kit in this technique and mm -hmm. oh, it turned out really great it has problems but it is so beautiful we really like it we really like how it turned out um and these particular um rocks stitches. rocks here we did several and several layers of painting with the strand it was so much fun and it turned out really covering all the surface of the fabric that is beneath this so um the fabric was also 100% cotton just a regular yes, um, um solid quilting. one yeah we we hand dyed it so it has like uh, color variations yeah. but, but not to do the the shading yeah, no yes not, not like a before drawing or something and before whatever no it, it didn't have the it didn't, uh, the that, or, it didn't have a relationship, yes, a connection. It was just with this, um, this final oh, result. Shadow. I don't know. Um, it was kind of a very shading, just some some <laughs> some spots with color. A very basic dyeing technique yeah. because we are not not even close to be professional Spotted. or good stained stained i mean stained is a very ugly word i don't no. I, I wouldn't it's sports i was like I mix it mix <laughs> it mix it all around a kind of a mess not regular mm -hmm. also yeah. it was yeah. a kind of shades um, yes shades just shades, shades over yeah. over the fabric so it wasn't so solid i don't mm. know why we did that because we it makes no intent yeah we <laughs> intend to cover all the fabric with thread mm. since the very first minute we started this project yeah. and we did it and it made no difference that the mm. fabric was um hand dyed but it kept our heart in peace when we were dyeing it so it okay, worked it was fun it was that's fun it. to do <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, so let's take a look oh, at the zoom video so here's Yay. the top um, i don't know if you can see the little wave on the center yeah and that is the Stickies. really the the, the very <laughs> very close <laughs> and we some color some blue <laughs> some of the blue oh we used only on the rocks and not on the water so we also uh despite of the despite not be in addition in addition <laughs> to the difference of the stitches we also have the difference of blue <laughs> thread that was different from the rocks and the water. There is no variegated thread here. No. Some people asked us if it is variegated thread no, just and lot. it's not. It's all solid. This is the background, I'm sorry. Yeah. This is the background of this fabric. So it's as we same. use the same thread and the yeah. same um, color, we yeah. actually got the same work yeah. on the back of our quilt. Mm -hmm. um, this is a pretty common to our quilts to have a very awesome back, a very neat and um, very precise, just like a top would be. Yes on the back of the quilt we are we are really proud of that actually because it's i know we know that it's not very intelligent i know very strategically um decision um in this case yeah it make a difference no. if you didn't use a solid fabric on the back because there's a lot of thread that would 
paint it all and it would be the same in the top and the back yeah. anyway yeah I would, we, we just care about our backs as much as we care <laughs> of our, our fronts so i was um i forgot what i was talking I before know. the back pop up ah yeah the variegated thread so yeah. we used only solid threads just like this you know Mm -hmm. just like this that are regular um, um, trilobo tri polyester Thread. quilting thread yes. it's, like, it's actually embroidery, embroidery thread, thread because here, in, here Brazil. in Brazil there's not a uh, brand yes brand specific to quilt so you will find only embroider machine embroidery threads so we use them to quilt but there's not brands or products specific to quilts <laughs> and so this variegated shades and variegated feel of the the, the wave and the <laughs> entire quilt that you saw is uh, was created by lots of the layers. painting yes. <laughs> actually the painting and <coughs> what we did on the machine that is something i really like about this quilt and it, because it's polyester trilobal thread, it shines so much. It's like a sparkling actual wave of water because as it moves, the light moves, it really shines. It's so beautiful. And we love it. So, wow, we talked a lot. Can it make me uh, miss the beach? <laughs> ah, yeah, a lot. So... <laughs> That's it. That's this it. Is submerged, and that's it. If you want to ask, comment, um, you know, um, give some advice, tip, or maybe a critique, be more than welcome to um, join us and to participate here with us. We are so so happy to have you guys. It's an honor for us to have your time and to get to know you better and to be able actually to speak to all the English speakers yes. friends that we have here and we cannot um, you know contact directly or maybe um, speak directly when we are doing lives or some sure. classes or some demonstrations so we are super super happy that we are doing this so please 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 if you liking it if you are liking it um, comment or send us a message or gives whatever. a sign whatever it works for you so we can you know know that mm -hmm. you know that we are doing this <laughs> and this is the fourth video of a series of nine at videos. least at l so far it we at least nine videos but probably revenge will be two videos oh, so right, it's right. ten right. and yes. maybe we will well, do a from <laughs> at nine quote shows that we made at least nine videos so yes <laughs> please let us know if you're enjoying it and also if for some reason you know some of our quotes um well comment here and ask in advance what we'd like to know about the quotes we haven't talked about yet yeah that would be <laughs> so fun so yes. thank you guys for having us I am Aline Bugarin and I am Natasha Bugarin. <laughs> we'll see you next video. Bye. Bye.